Now we are going to discuss very important topic and that is aneurysm. Nowadays, lots of questions are being asked in exams about aneurysm. So first of all, what is the definition of aneurysm? So the definition of aneurysm, it is the permanent and irreversible dilatation. Permanent and irreversible dilatation. of blood vessel with at least 50% increase in diameter so it is permanent and irreversible localized dilatation it's the permanent and irreversible localized dilatation of blood vessel with at least 50% increase in the diameter. There is a second word which is known as ictasia. In ictasia, dilatation is going to occur but there is increase in diameter less than 50%. So what is ictasia? Ictasia is the dilatation of less than 50% of normal diameter. So these two are the basic definitions. We will keep on using these terms. After that, lots of one-liner questions are asked. Lots of one-liner questions are asked. What are those one-liner questions? First, what is the most common site of aneurysm? So most common vessel, most common vessel involved in aneurysm and that is circle of villus. First question. Second question, what's the most common site of extracranial aneurysm? So have a look. Most common site of extracranial aneurysm that is infrarenal aorta followed by iliac artery followed by popliteal artery followed by femoral artery. So second question is asked, what is the most common site of peripheral arterial aneurysm and answer is hidden here. So most common site of peripheral arterial aneurysm and that is popliteal artery. Question is asked that what is the most common site of splanchnic arterial aneurysm? Most common site of splanchnic splanchnic arterial aneurysm. And that is very important that is splenic artery. Splenic artery. After that question is asked, most common site of mycotic aneurysm. Mycotic aneurysm means infected aneurysm which is caused by bacterial infection. So most common site of mycotic aneurysm and that is that is femoral artery. And after femoral artery, it's the aorta. So most common site of mycotic aneurysm is femoral artery followed by aorta. So these are one-liner questions which are asked. After that, what's the most common cause of abdominal aortic aneurysm? See, in majority of cases, it's the degenerative. And what's the most common cause? Atherosclerosis. So most common cause of abdominal 
एटिक एन्यूरिज्म दैट इज एथिरोस्क्लोरासिस वन सिंपल क्वेश्चन इज आस्ट द रिस्क ऑफ रप्चर रप्चर इज द मोस्ट कॉमन एंड मोस्ट फेटल कॉम्प्लिकेशन ऑफ एबडामिनल एन्यूरिज्म सो रिस्क ऑफ रप्चर डिपेंड्स ऑन विच पर्टिकुलर कंडीशन सो रिस्क ऑफ रप्चर is mainly determined by width width or diameter of aneurysm so risk of rupture depends on the width or diameter of aneurysm that's why there are certain cut off diameters where we are supposed to perform the surgical repair in the aneurysm and these are frequently asked question so cut off diameter which is an indication for surgery in cases of aneurysm first descending thoracic aorta descending thoracic aortic aneurysm the cut off diameter is more than equal to 6.5 cm this is maximum more than equal to 6.5 cm but be careful in patients of marfan syndrome in cases of positive family history connective tissue disorders bicuspid aortic valve and aortic stenosis in cases of marfan syndrome positive family history connective tissue disorders bicuspid aortic valve and aortic stenosis this is more than equal to 6 cm it means it is less than 0.5 so be careful and read the question carefully sometimes questions are asked that what is the cut off diameter in patients of marfan syndrome for descending thoracic aortic aneurysm it is 6.5 cm after that abdominal aortic aneurysm and ascending aortic aneurysm abdominal aortic aneurysm and ascending aortic aneurysm the cut off diameter should be more than equal to 5.5 cm third is iliac artery aneurysm iliac artery aneurysm in this case it should be more than 3.5 cm after that popliteal and femoral arterial aneurysm in this case it is more than equal to 2 cm so you have to remember in this sequence maximum is for descending thoracic aorta that's more than equal to 6.5 cm for abdominal aorta and ascending aorta it's more than equal to 5.5 for iliac artery more than equal to 3.5 for popliteal and femoral it is more than equal to 2 cm so see what happens in aneurysm have a look this is a vessel and what happens there is dilatation of this part of lumen how much diameter at least the increase in diameter should be at least more than 50% so this is known as width or diameter and i told you the risk of rupture is dependent on width or diameter now in this case if intima media and adventitia if all the three layers if all the three layers are involved this is known as true aneurysm and it is known as pseudo aneurysm if all the three layers are not involved in the dilatation so see the definition first true aneurysm when all the three layers of vessels are involved
सेकेंड सूडो एन्यूरिज्म और फॉल्स एन्यूरिज्म वेन एन्यूरिज्म डज नॉट कंटेन ऑल द थ्री लेयर्स सो दिस इज द बेसिक डिफिनेशन आफ्टर दैट आई टोल्ड यू माइकोटिक एन्यूरिज्म what is the mycotic aneurysm it's the infected aneurysm so mycotic aneurysm is infected aneurysm and be careful it's a misnomer actually it's caused by bacterial infection so it is infected aneurysm caused by bacterial infection and the most common organism responsible is staph aureus followed by salmonella we will discuss it later after that next is dissecting aneurysm dissecting aneurysm in dissecting aneurysm there is dissection aortic dissection with aneurysmal dilatation of aneurysmal dilatation of false lumen so this is dissecting aneurysm after that have a look there is fusiform aneurysm now what is this fusiform aneurysm in which there is symmetrical enlargement symmetrical enlargement involving whole circumference of artery after that very important secular aneurysm secular this secular aneurysm affect only one part of arterial circumference affect only one part of arterial circumference and be careful irrespective of diameter this secular aneurysm is having high risk of rupture most of atypical aneurysms are having high risk of rupture so secular aneurysm irrespective of diameter is having high risk of rupture sometimes these definitions are asked in exam now we are going to discuss in detail abdominal aortic aneurysm nowadays frequently this topic is being asked in exams so abdominal aortic aneurysm first question what's the most common site of abdominal aortic aneurysm that's infrarenal aorta what's the most common site of atherosclerosis again that is infrarenal aorta so what is the most common cause of abdominal aortic aneurysm obviously atherosclerosis these are three very important questions have a look first question most common site of abdominal aortic aneurysm and that's infrarenal aorta second question most common site of atherosclerosis and that is what infrarenal aorta so third question most common cause of abdominal aortic aneurysm yes and that is atherosclerosis right now see what is going to happen in cases of abdominal aortic aneurysm see this is the aorta especially infrarenal aorta and there is degenerative condition that is atherosclerosis because of this degenerative condition what happens there is increase in the diameter of aneurysm and what is the natural course of aneurysm can you see there is progressive increase in the diameter i told you the most important predictor of rupture of aneurysm is what width so see 
the natural course of aneurysm is the natural course of aneurysm is continuous expansion so there is continuous expansion or increase in diameter next very important point most important predictor for rupture and that's width that's width or diameter width or diameter now see when patient is going to develop aneurysm what are the symptoms most common symptom is chronic backache or dull aching abdominal pain this is the most common symptom so most common symptom in aneurysm is most common symptom in abdominal aortic aneurysm is chronic vague abdominal pain or back pain why because of location of this aneurysm in retroperitoneum now what is the most common and most lethal complication of aneurysm the most common and most lethal complication of aneurysm is rupture so most common and most lethal complication of aneurysm is rupture this question is frequently asked now can you see on the right side of aorta there is inferior vena cava so actually aorta is on left side so if this aneurysm is going to rupture what's the most common site aorta is located in the retroperitoneum so the most common site of rupture is what can you see it is the left retroperitoneal this question was asked many times so most common site of rupture is left retroperitoneal this question was asked left retroperitoneal because on right side there is ivc and aorta is mainly located in the retroperitoneum after that questions are asked that what's the triad of aortic aneurysm rupture so have a look the triad of aortic aneurysm rupture is first sudden onset mid abdominal or flank pain plus shock plus pulsatile abdominal mass so the classical triad of aortic aneurysm rupture is sudden onset of mid abdominal or flank pain plus shock plus pulsatile abdominal mass but be careful it is not seen in all the cases it is seen in one third of the cases only so it is seen in one third of the cases only